All right, hello YouTube. This is my first video actually that I'm just talking about things. And pretty recently on my channel, I started playing a lot of Tekken 7. And I was like, hmm, I really don't like some of those songs. <laughs> Especially G Corp Night. God damn it, that song just gave me a, a fucking headache. And I got even disconnected from my match. It got just lagged out on the last round. And I'm, God damn, I have to close the game. I cannot listen to this shit. So, considering the things that there is not a Tekken 7 jukebox on PC, right? It just came to PlayStation. Just came to PlayStation. And PC never got it. I just did some research and just some digging around just to see what I need to do to just change some of the music in the game. And I actually got pretty happy with what I, with what I got. Let me just show you what, what I have right now. So, this is what I have right now modded into my game. You can see on this Tekken Jukebox 2 app, you can see every single map. And uh, on the right side here, you can see the list of custom songs. The app just comes with Tekken 1, 2, 3, 4. And I, ha I kind of have a problem with it because it has pretty much every single Tekken, but this, the songs are so low volume. Every single one is just so low in the game. And I had to just do something about it. And what I did, let me just show you what music I have here. Like, we forgot a realm I have, the June from Tekken 2, that I converted myself. Same for Michelle team from Tekken 2. On Jungle Outpost, I have Tekken Tag School. Oh, just skips going. Pretty much almost every stage I have modded. So let me show you in the game what it sounds like. Let me just go into round two especially, because it's Michelle theme. The volume is, is appropriate, I guess. So now let me show you what happens if I just select Michelle theme and just drop it from the second 7-2 jukebox. And you guys can hear the difference. This is after. Yeah, so what I did to just grab whatever song that I want from whatever game, you don't have to be Tekken, Tekken music. So as you can see on the jukebox too here, they have a bunch of folders like uh, Tekken 1 all the way to Tekken Tag 2. But when you click one of those, there are a lot of songs that are just missing. So even if the song is there, I think the volume is way lower. So what I did, I just go into YouTube. Let's say I want a electric fountain. I just click the the address, I just copy it, and I go into this, you can go pretty much to any YouTube downloader website. So I'm going to use this one just because. So you just paste the link here, you click download, and it should give you an option to download the mp3 file. So I download here, I go to my desktop, let me just save there. So you guys can use pretty much whatever app that you have that just raise the volume of the file. So in this case, in Filmora, I just click here to drop the file. I'll go to my desktop and I should find the file here, Electric Fountain. In this case, I just drop the audio here and I just increase the volume from zero to 12. Then I can just save the file back, MP3. I did change to 192 kbps. I don't know if that makes any difference, but yeah, you just export it. And once you get the file, you can just go back to Google. Now here, this is the website, the online audio converter.com. If you just type into Google, convert MP3 to WAV, it should be the first option. So you just click here. Now I click open file. So this is the file that I just got that I raised the volume a little bit. Yeah, it is here. It's called my audio because I didn't name it because it's a little bit higher volume. So you just drop the file here. I click wave. You can increase the quality. It should should be good. And after this, you just hit convert and you are going to have a link for the file. It should be converted to .wav. So let me just electric fountain. Let me just name it. Electric fountain dot wave. 
now we that we have a dot wave file we can just close this one we can just close this and now I'm going to the next step we should be opening the file in WIs okay I'll be providing links on the description but I already have it installed in here it's this WIs launcher yeah whatever so when you install it you're going to install this the WIs launcher and after you just uh, you just install it you click here in WIs then you go ahead and install WIs whatever version you have 32 bits or 64 depending on your Windows I already have installed so I just click here launch WIs let's just create a new project you can just name it whatever test whatever you just hit OK and it should show up here yeah whatever you can just ignore this all of this now let me see if I remember exactly where I go I think I should go into project settings I go into source settings I click on this three dots I click on factory conversion settings I just expand it I expand Vorbis and I click here Vorbis quality high I think it should be here by default so you just click it here in your Vorbis quality high hit OK and you just OK again and you go back now what you want to do is click on project click on import audio file then you are going to add the file that I just converted the WA file that you just got from the website so in my case it should be here electric fountain dot WAV after this you just click import and you go back into project here on the left and you hit convert all audio files windows should be marked you hit convert and you are going to have your file just be converted to WEM usually it should be on uh, C go to users click on your username you click on documents should be WIS projects and then should be here the name of the project that you just named so I just name it test you go into dot cache windows SFX and here's the file the WEM file now you can just copy this file just to make sure and drop it somewhere easy let's drop it on desktop should be a little bit easier for us to find base yeah it's here now on my desktop so it's called Tekken 7 jukebox and this folder and you can just click on the exe and you should see a list in a uh, list of whatever folders that you have the folders also you have to download it uh, this this BGM folder this is where all of the songs are there I'll just also drop the I'll drop a link for you guys to download it but this is the one that is missing a lot of songs for some reason I think the guy that just uploaded them didn't just fully complete the songs whatever so you're going to download this folder then you are going to extract it and just place it on the same folder where the exe is so the bgm folder should be here once you have your wem file which is this one we can just cut it you can go into the bgm create a new folder here let's name it test for some reason then you just drop your wem file here and you also need a dot stub file which I'm pretty sure is just an empty text file so if you guys download the BGM uh, the BGM file that has a lot of the songs you can pretty much just copy just copy whatever dot stub file there is and just rename it so you just copy it you put it on the same folder you just put electric fountain and you just rename the files the same so I'm going to rename this one the same name it should be a dot stub at the end so this is pretty much done at this point so now what you want to do is just go back open the Tekken 7 jukebox exe and you should be able to see a folder here called test so it should be out the way at the end yeah test so now what you guys want to do is in case you just want to modify every single stage or whatnot you just did one one change you want to save it so let's say I want to modify soak first round 
what I need to do there, I just go to the folder called test, click here and I just click generate dot pack. It just generated a dot pack file. Now what you want to do is just go into file, save playlist, and you can just name whatever. Just save it. Because if you want to go back and just keep adding songs to it, you have to open the Tekken 7 Jukebox 2 again. Hit file, hit load playlist. Then you're going to load the playlist that you just saved. And it should save whatever whatever customization you have. Just in my case, the every stage has, has no different song, it's all on default. And the only one that is different is this one. So first, which I just changed it. So after you do it, you can just pretty much close the jukebox too. And inside the folder where the exe is, you can see a jukebox underscore underline p dot back. Now what you just need to do is copy this file, go into the second folder, which should be located. Let's go there manually. In my case, it's here. Steam, Steam apps, come on. Oops, come on. You go and look for Tekken 7. Tekken 7, there it is. You go into Tekken game, content, packs, and you create a folder here. You just go ahead and create a folder with this name. Tilda mods. I already created, so I don't need to do it. And inside this folder, you just drop the jukebox P pack. All right, now I just went back into the game and I'm loading the first stage. So that we just modified and we should be able to listen to Electric Fountain if everything went all right. The song should start playing right now and that's pretty much it. It's a little bit of a, of a trouble once you start it, especially the WYS part. It's kind of weird because we have to register for the first time. And there we go. Now we have Electric Fountain playing. Yeah, so when you guys download your, your files from YouTube and you just convert them into WAVE and then you convert them into WEM using WYS, you guys always want to make sure you go into the BGM and just create a new folder here and you just, just drop your files there and you just make a fake stop file and it should be good to go. So if you guys want to keep customizing it, let's say you guys want to customize one stage at a time, you just go back into file, load your playlist, which in our case is this one that we just made it. It is loaded, though now we just go back into soak, it's playing electric fountain. You just click soak second and you just change for whatever song you want. Let's say you want Jack 2 from PlayStation 1 version of Tekken 2. Uh, Jack 2 song. Just click generate back. You should generate, you click OK, and you go into file, save your playlist so you don't lose your changes. You just overwrite it. Now you can close your jukebox too. You go back into this jukebox underline P pack. You just copy it, go into your Tekken folder again. Just replace the jukebox P pack file there inside the Tilda's mod. Tilda, inside the Tilda mods, right? That's the name of it, yeah. <laughs> then you are pretty good to go. All right, thank you guys for watching. And if I helped you like at all, just drop a like and a sub. It helps a lot. I've been enjoying Tekken 7 way more now with custom music. And I also drop my, I'll just drop also my pack file there with the, uh, in the description. If you guys just want to download it and just place it on your Tilda Mods folder, it just should be a, an easy modification. And you guys can have the same playlist that I have, but it's up to you. If you guys just want to customize it, just follow the steps again and that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.